Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my everyday winter makeup routine and this is the makeup look I've been really liking to wear so far this winter and I just think it's super super fun. It's really really easy. So I'm using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette today which I'm so excited about because they finally brought this palette back. So if you maybe got this palette for the holidays then you can maybe find some inspiration in this look and also everything else I use in this tutorial are some of like my current favorite products. I have some drugstore, I have some high end. This lip color is like my new favorite and it's seriously maybe like six dollars at the drugstore so so good and also if my hair looks different um, I got it done yesterday and you know whenever you go and get your hair done and they like part it a different way that's kind of like what happened to me it's a little closer to the center than I usually like it to be and it's a little straighter than I usually like it to be but the color is really nice so that's good um, but if that looks kind of different that's why anyways um, if you are new to my channel hi my name is Bailey I upload three times a week and I would love if you guys would stick around and if you haven't already check me out on social media that'd be really cool but without further ado let's finally get into this makeup tutorial Alright, so first thing we're going to do is prime the skin using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Face Primer. And I just prefer to have a nice smooth base, but you can use whatever is your favorite face primer. And for foundation, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and I'm in the shade 4.5 in case you're wondering. And I'm just tapping that on the skin and then blending it in with the Beauty Blender. But I seriously love this stuff just because it really evens everything out without looking like you caked on a ton of foundation. It just looks very skin-like and very natural, and I really like it. So now let's move on to concealer. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. And I've recently rediscovered this in my collection, and I forgot how much I liked it. It's definitely more of a medium to full coverage, but it, again, it doesn't look like you just caked on concealer and it doesn't crease. It's really amazing. So I'm just blending that in with the Beauty Blender again, just to make sure it's all nice and set. And to set the whole face, I'm going to be using the Revlon Naked Skin Face Powder. And this is one of my favorite pressed powders from the drugstore just because, again, it looks like you're not wearing any powder, but it keeps everything locked in all day. Now let's move into eyes. So I'm first going to prime my lids using the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. This is seriously one of my top eyeshadow primers and it's so affordable since it's from the drugstore. Now for eyeshadow, as I said earlier, we're going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And the first shade we're taking is the shade Puree. And we're just going to blend this all up in the crease. And this is going to act as our best friend transition shade. And I'm just using that with a fluffy Morphe brush and just blending it out. Next, I'm going to be taking the shade Cobbler, which is kind of like a bronzy, taupey, shimmery shade. And I'm just going to sweep that all across the lid. And I feel like the shade really makes green eyes pop. It's super, super pretty. And then to deepen up the outer corner, I'm going to be taking the shade called Peach Pit, which is more of a shimmery, kind of like a plummy shade. And I'm just going to concentrate that again in the outer corner just to add a little bit of dimension. And now I'm going to be taking the shade called Georgia with a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to use that to help blend out any harsh edges I might have and just make everything look nice and seamless. And now I'm just going to be taking the shade called White Peach and using this just to highlight underneath the brow bone and just give a little bit of lift to the eye look. Now I'm going to go back in with the puree shade, which we used first, and I'm going to dust this along my bottom lash line, and I've been obsessed with adding a little bit of shadow to my bottom lash line just because I feel like it really balances the look out and kind of completes everything. And with a flat definer brush, I'm going to be going in with the shade Peach Pit again and just concentrating that on the outer corner just to smoke things out teeny tiny bit and again add a little bit of dimension and then with a clean brush I'm just going to kind of blend it all together and now I'm just going to brighten up the inner corners a little bit using the shade called nectar and I seriously just love brightening up the inner corners I feel like it just makes all the difference it makes your eyes look bigger and brighter and better um, so yeah let's move on to liner so I'm gonna be using this Ico fat liquid liner and I've been really like into this liner lately it's been one of my favorites and I just do a teeny tiny wing just because my eyes can only handle a teeny tiny wing um, so now for lashes I'm using Maybelline the falsies push-up a Angel. This has been one of my recent favorites. If you like length, you're gonna like this. Mm -hmm. 
And moving on to brows, I'm going to be using the Benefit Cabrow Brow Pomade and just using this to really sculpt my brows and fill them in and make them look as like bold as possible because I've been really into that look lately. And again, this has been one of those products I have been loving lately. So let's move on to the face. So to bronze things up, I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This one's one of my favorites. It makes it look like I actually have been out in the sun a little bit, have a little bit of color, a little bit of, you know, shape to my face. So I'm just doing that with a fluffy brush. For blush, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Air Blush in the shade Flesh and Fantasy. And this is one of my favorites because it seriously goes with any makeup look because it's super natural but definitely adds a flush of color and it's just so, so pretty. I freaking love this stuff. So let's move on to highlights. I'm using the Balm's Mary Luminizer and this is one of my go-tos because it just goes, again, with every single makeup look. It's a little bit, I guess, warmer, just slightly, but it's so pretty and it really does give Becca a run for her money. And then for lipstick, I'm using the Rimmel London Kate Moss Nude Lipstick in the shade number 47. And I've been loving this because it's kind of like a warm terracotta shade. And it seriously goes on as good as any of my MAC lipsticks. It's amazing. So yeah, that is the completed makeup look. And I hope you guys liked it. Alright, bye y'all.